Hi, I'm Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. And I was asked this morning, Teddy, give me an update. What's the easiest way to add a new position to the LinkedIn profile? So adding a position on LinkedIn is um, not really hard to do, but you need to understand some of the basics so you do it right. So I can do it from right here, add a section. I can go to background and under background, go, go to work experience. That, that will take me right to it. Or I can scroll down to my work experience box. I can hit this plus and it goes straight into it. All right, so here, listen to these ideas. So title. You don't have to have your HR assigned title. This field here could be keyword rich, telling your target audience what you do for them. Here's my example. And you can, you could ignore the suggestions that LinkedIn provides. If you say no, thank you, it might be the same thing as hitting the X. Employment type. What I recommend you do is, is I'm not a big fan of self-employed, maybe even not freelancer, um, uh, but I would be very purposeful about choosing if you are full-time, if it is part-time, but um, if you are full-time, use that even if it's your own business. Then the company name. So you want to look, if you in fact work for an organization that has a LinkedIn company page, look for the company page. And you see I type in Burris Consulting and I can now click on Burris Consulting. But if it's a new company, a different company that may not have a company page, then put the company name in there, even though they may not have a company page on LinkedIn. Location, you don't have to be city specific. You could be regional or you could leave it blank. There's no asterisk here as, is, as there is right here. And so you don't have to put a location in. But if you, if you want to do farm design in the United States, put United States. If you currently work there, it's just going to ask for the start month and year. Uh, but if you are no longer working there, it's going to ask, ask, also ask you for the end month and year. And you only have to put year. You don't have to put month. It references your LinkedIn profile and it sees that there are four other positions that I have under Burroughs Consulting. It wants to know if I want to end them. And I don't want to end them. So I'm going to leave them there. Now, this is another big one. I could update my industry and or update my headline, but I do not want to trash my headline. So I'm going to undo that because I want my headline to stay exactly what it is. And I want to do that manually. Then you enter in your description. I'm going to type in my description. If while you're building your link, your experience section on LinkedIn and you have some interesting documents or, or a link to a really compelling landing page, then this would be great to put here. If not, you don't have to have it. Now, it, because it's a new position, you have the ability to share it proudly with your LinkedIn company, excuse me, your LinkedIn network or not. And I'm going to choose not. And then I'm going to hit save because I have multiple languages, it wants to update multiple languages, and then I'm done. And now you can see I've added agricultural specialist for the, my company. I'm currently working there in the United States. Here's my uh, description information. And because I don't have a company page yet, I get this uh, blank picture here. So it's really that easy. And if you didn't do right, you had a type or whatever, you hit the pencil and you can make edits, adjust it however you want. And then you can hit the save button again. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn strategist, trainer, and coach. I hope this quick little idea is helpful for you.